Well, we just told you before the break, more Americans are in favor of sending ground troops to Iraq and Syria in the fight against ISIS. And joining us this morning is Congressman Fred Upton. Good morning. Thank you for good being morning. here. Good morning. It's good to be here. Let's get right to this uh, fight against terror. President Obama just spoke yesterday. He's coming under a lot of criticism, though. Many people want a clearer explanation of his strategy. Do you think we're headed in the right direction? We got to see what the strategy is. There's, there doesn't seem to be a coalition of the willing, unlike we, what we saw in the Iraq, the, the first effort by President Bush, 41. Uh, there, there's just, I mean, one of the things that we're requiring in the National Defense Authorization Bill that the president signed a couple weeks ago is we want to know what the strategy is. And how is it that folks that are able to come here on a visa, they don't even look at social media to see what their past history is. So these. Folks in San Bernardino, apparently they were Twittering and they were on Facebook and they were, you know, clear evidence probably yeah. that they were in line to do some very harmful things and yet there's an actual ban by the Homeland Security uh, to tell the folks that are interviewing folks for visa that they can't look at their, home, at their uh, social media. I mean, you can't get a job in this country without an employer checking that out. I mean, you know, we're back in session this afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a chairman's meeting. Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Bob Goodlatte, is going to be there. We're talking about moving legislation this week to reverse that ban. Uh, that the administration has had in place since at least 2014. Yeah, let's talk about the shootings in San Bernardino because there's a lot of people very fearful of Syrian refugees coming here, the visa program. You mentioned that change. But these states that want to ban the refugees from coming into their states, is that the right move? You know, as I talk to our governors, they want to know what is the deal. Uh, they're open to having refugees come, but they want to make sure that, in fact, we're not getting folks... Uh, 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 who have some bad history behind them. Mm -hmm. uh, we passed bipartisan legislation in the House now two weeks ago that said anyone that is from Syria or Iraq uh, cannot get in under the visa waiver program. In other words, they have to get a visa uh, and, and thus an interview at a consulate or an embassy before they're allowed entry into the United States uh, mm -hmm. if they've been in Syria or Iraq uh, the last five years. I think that's a, that's a good first step. Uh, but again, our governors are very concerned about the folks that are that are coming in and want to make sure that, in fact, the folks that are coming don't have a bad link to terrorism or uh, terrorist uh, training camps or that type of thing that obviously could do us great harm. Mm -hmm. And the fight against terror, we mentioned earlier, 42% of Americans now are in favor of sending ground troops into well, Iraq and Syria. We, Should we do that? Well, we know what this ISIS threat is now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a JV team. They're, they're getting stronger and stronger. It's amazing that the Russians have taken out, you know, so, so how are they getting funded? Well, they're selling oil. So who struck their oil tankers? It was the Russians. It wasn't the U.S. So for months and months, we claimed we were doing something against ISIS, but we were afraid to even go after the financial uh, hose uh, that, that ISIS was uh, using to, to fund its missions, not only in that region, but really through some of the other parts in the world, too. All right, it's got to stop. Yep. Congressman Fred Upton, I know you have to get to the airport now. Yep. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, Carrie.